Bali is a magical place. Growing up here, I was surrounded by immense beauty. I could walk through lush rice fields, swim in crystal clear waters, and trek through pristine forests. I formed a connection with the earth. I grew to care for it, to look after it. But there's a major threat to our beautiful home, plastic. It pollutes our beaches, rivers, and rice fields. It is everywhere. We use it every day. But where does all that plastic end up when we're done with it? The sad truth is that the vast majority of it ends up on land, in our rivers, and ultimately in the ocean. By 2050, our planet's oceans are projected to have more plastic in them than fish. Once created, plastic never fully decomposes. It only breaks down into tiny pieces called microplastics. These microplastics are found inside the foods we eat and the water we drink. It's so pervasive, it's estimated we eat a credit card's worth of plastic each week. As one of the largest contributors to plastic pollutants in the ocean, Indonesia has a responsibility to reduce its plastic waste. So my sister Isabel and I decided to take action. We set our sights on banning single-use plastic bags in Bali. The idea was simple but effective, and we knew it would resonate with a lot of people. We called our project Bye Bye Plastic Bags. We spoke to people in the streets, in the shops, and in our schools about what we aimed to do and we found a lot of support in our community. We started a petition to ban plastic bags and collected over 100,000 signatures. We pressured businesses and organizations to sign a pledge to not use plastic bags. But it took a lot more convincing for the government to acknowledge and support our mission. My sister and I persisted. We wrote letters, collected more signatures, and even went on a food strike. And you know what? It worked. The government signed an order banning single-use plastic bags, straws, and styrofoams in Bali. It's amazing what a group of dedicated people can accomplish. We've been able to turn our work into a global movement, expanding to over 30 countries. But banning plastic bags was just the beginning. I saw an opportunity to share my knowledge as part of a larger mission to empower other young people to create change in their own communities and countries. That's why I created Youthtopia, a global online platform where young people can ignite their passions and grow the skills they need to affect real change. Youthtopia offers classes, mentorships, and a space for young changemakers to connect and inspire one another. The truth is, anyone can do what I did. You might just need a little help realizing your own power. And when we come together to meet the world's greatest challenges, I know there's nothing we can't do. Hi, I'm Melati, and I hope you found my story empowering. If you want to learn more about other people who are striving to make the world a better place, click here and check out more from the hashtag solving it series.